Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck and we are in EverQuest Project 1999 on Fever. And I haven't been playing a, a lot lately, as you may know. Um, but it's mostly because of the fact that I'm going to be moving at the end of this month. And I've been um, trying to get ready. I don't have uh, everything ready, but we're going to do it anyway. So that's one thing um also i've been dealing with work i am really busy lately so i uh i i have that but i was able to get about um i don't know an hour or two in last night and uh came to city of mist to group with my friend zk and um if you haven't checked out his channel he is working on his shaman epic and um, I would suggest that you check him out as well. I'll put the information in the description. So, EverQuest. I've been missing it a lot. Um, I've also been playing EverQuest Live, but I didn't know if that was something that you'd be interested in. Um, I have mixed feelings about EverQuest Live and Project 1999. And here's what they really are, is in Project 1999, it's not very fast leveling, but that gives you the chance to go through levels and meet people and become friends with people and hang out with them and all of that. The problem with EverQuest Live is everything is so... so one person minded meaning that everyone uses mercs or mercenaries now um they have double experience and 150 experience um weekends and all kinds of things so what used to take most people um months to get to um to the maximum level takes Days. I was able to go from um, 1 to level um, 51 over a weekend on my Rogue. I was able to solo, completely solo my Epic. Um, and uh, that includes soloing the General, which uh, was... I, I died a few times, but that was because I had to pull him away from the rest of the dark elves um because if uh the way he works is if you pull him away from that this that uh house he will stay wherever you you die at so that's pretty much what happened is um i was bound in uh rivervale and i would just um I would just go die by pulling him away. And finally, when he was far enough away that he wouldn't have any ads, I was able to solo him with a healer merc. And though it's kind of cheating, it's cheating. Uh, it's not kind of cheating. Um, it was um, It was kind of... In, it was kind of fun that I was able to solo my own epic. Because you can't do that here. Um, also... It's interesting that everybody is doing their epic on um, on EverQuest Live, even though they're not useful. Like, um, I my epic was not even good by the time I got it. I'm almost level seventy, um, almost level seventy, and I have weapons that do twenty one damage with a twenty one uh, backstab modifier. And at um, level 75, I'm going to have weapons that are 38 damage in my main hand and 30 damage in my offhand. And both of them are 19 uh, delay. So, and they proc pets and do damage. So, it's, <laughs> it's, um, it's kind of odd that you're able to do that, but... Then again, I've been I've been over there uh, with a friend of mine, so it's been um, 
it's been kind of fun also because I've been able to group with a friend of mine that um, I know from uh, back when I lived in Illinois. But then you come back here and you have all your friends and you have this, um, you have more accomplishment here because of the fact that you know that, um, that, you know, that every level is something that you have to work hard for. Uh, even whenever you get good groups, it's still, you have to work for them. Um, and that is kind of enjoy, uh, enjoyable. So I'm kind of glad about um, coming back over here to play for a little bit. Now, whenever I move in, um, in June, I don't know how long I will be without internet. So hopefully I will not be gone for too long, but... Um, hopefully I will be, um, we'll see. Um, maybe if it's possible, I'll be able to, um, do uploads, but I may not be able to play, um, online games. So we'll have to see how that all works out. Anyway, guys, this is Cypher Deck. I hope you had a great weekend and I'll talk to you later. Peace.